Hello everyone, my name is Fox. This is Unigen's Heaven running right now. It is running in OpenGL, and that is our frame rate right now. So, loads and runs seemingly just fine. Everything is displaying as it should. Performance is pretty good. It's uh, it's pretty much, it looks to be on par with uh, DirectX 11. Everything is displaying correctly. Anyway, so glad that we got that out of the way, because now it's time to show you what this is actually running on. Oh, of course, you know, the title of this video is going to be uh, giving away the hint. Uh, we are running Linux right now. This is Zubuntu. Whenever I use uh, desktop Linux, I tend to prefer XFCE. And uh, uh, Zubuntu is just one of the easier ones that I like to install. I know a lot of people are fans of... Uh, Arch Linux, Arc Linux, however you want to pronounce it. Um, I have the P sensors thing running right now, so that's that's this over here. And tensor temperature sensors seem to be working, except for the SSD, which it most definitely is not uh, 100 degrees Celsius. So the value right now. What does it do? Let's see if we can quit this. Uh, let me get out of this terminal, and we'll go into this terminal window, and we'll do P sensor tab completion. Okay, so we did P sensor. My wife seems to be laughing about something, and you'll see it populate. There you go. Bloop. So this seems to be working. I don't know how fast it updates. It might update really slow. Uh, I didn't really check at settings, but that works. Um, OpenGL is working, so graphics is working. Here is a video of mine. The 7Y30 going from 4.5 watt to 7 watt to 15 watt. How old was That'll start off initially by just doing 15. Uh, April 30th, watt, which... 2017. So I was talking about 7Y30 uh, well, a lot of months ago and hoping that we would get to this point. We now have a 7Y30 GPD Win 2. Really excited about that. I'm looking forward to everyone getting it and everyone in the community adding stuff, poking at it, doing stuff. It's going to be a lot of fun. So right now I am pretty far away. I'm getting 15, 16 megabits. And you can see right up here that I only have like two bars of signal strength. So Wi-Fi seems to be working just fine within Linux. Everything's going pretty good. Um, to the Again, the where I am when I record this, I, I don't know if any of you have been... A lot of you probably skipped through these videos, but when I do these recordings, I'm the furthest away from any access point in my house right now. So it's actually the worst case scenario to be testing. Uh, you can see that the battery is working straight out of the box. So if I go here, we it shows one hour and one hour and two minutes to fully charged. If I unplug it, your battery is just charging. Estimated time remaining one hour and fifty two minutes. Uh, let's go ahead and use the function key, and then we'll do. Uh, brightness down. Where's that brightness up? That's. Yeah, oh, maybe it isn't on there. It was just working. Ah, oh, there you go. Make a fool of me. Uh, you'll see the PWM screen kind of flashing a lot when you go. Whoop, when it goes full dark, and when I go full brightness, those uh, you don't see the wobbly things anymore. Uh, additionally, the hotkeys here do work for sound. So all that works, sound is working, uh, YouTube works, e everything is working. Um, it charges, it discharges, the battery shows properly. Um, this is mapped backwards, like, you know, how you would expect it to be because it's expecting, you know, the screen is like this. So you have to orient the screen right. And the touch Goodix driver thing has to just be corrected because this is kind of off, offset. But it does detect and it is there. Um, as far as I can see, everything works. Uh, obviously, all the keyboard keys work, so all of that works. Um, I did not switch into Xbox 360 mode, but it'll act as a 360 controller, so as long as you put in the driver and all that other stuff, that will work. Um, everything works fine in Linux land. So if you were wondering if the GB2 Win 2 supports Linux, yes, it does, fully and completely. There's just some minor tweaks that need to happen just for display rotation and this uh, touch driver, the touch interface to uh, be fixed, but that's easy. That's uh, I remember looking at it previously when I did my previous win video. Uh, 
I had managed to get it like half, half. Um, but I'm sure there's lots of fixes at this point. Lots of people have been working at it. So this looks like it's a super easy fix to get fully working on Linux. Uh, Bluetooth looks like it's working as well. To, let's see, make discoverable. Let's see if I can see any devices. Uh, let's go to search. And it's finding a bunch of Bluetooth devices. So Bluetooth is working as well in Linux. Um, this is my P-Sensor thing that's running. It just populate, populated up here. Um, OpenGL is running. It's, uh, it's good times. And right now I'm running it off of this USB stick right here. So it's, uh, you know, Zubuntu working off a live CD or live USB. I haven't installed it to the SSD yet. So um, that's it. If you were wondering if Linux supports it, yes, it does. Let's go ahead and shut down. And you can see it say goodbye. Thanks for watching, guys.